Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Daniel here. Um, I'm gonna be pretty much telling you guys that um, everything's not going as easy as what I thought it was gonna be. I'm trying to find somebody to help, like record, even coming up with just material. All in all, is um not. It's not like a walk to the park is what I thought it was going to be. And, um, so anyways, I'm just going to be doing this vlogging thing. These, like, these videos probably for, like, the first year. Or until I'm able to find somebody to, um, maybe help or record for me. And until then, I'm just going to continue to just stay in contact with you guys. And mainly for myself too. I like doing these little entry things. It's gonna be it show like my progress throughout the year. I should have done this the year before. It was pretty ugly. But um Yeah. I'm gonna be doing these vlogging videos. <sighs> it's all these vlogging videos. I'm gonna be talking about all sorts of shit. I mean, seriously. So much out there. Um, but yeah, fuck it. I'm being a vlogger. I really hate those guys, but this is only this is all I can do right now because of um. Yeah, just because of my tight situation, you know, I could just I can just upload these little bit of videos. And I'm writing my book. This is like. It's coming along pretty well. Just like I said, do I've been doing one page one day. I also have um I haven't had no fast food all year. It's one of my other goals. And don't listen to music unless I'm training. That was pretty going. It's going along pretty well. Today's the nineteenth. Got my page done. Um, the boxing. It's pretty hard, man. It's not, bro. Like, <clears throat> boxing is. Very, it takes a lot of like cardiovascular energy, and um, being in weight, and just like having like that, like trying to get into, like because what I was just like well, I, I, like I've been doing strength training and weights for like the past year. And it's just all like brute strength. And I do have cardio. Like I do run. I run with the forty with the forty pound rucksack on. It's actually today is Sundays. The day I make these videos is the day I do cardio and abs. But I went really hard last weekend and I fucked up my shins pretty bad. And, and uh I mean my I've been trying to get this goal. I've been trying to run a mile another in under eight minutes with the forty pound rucksack. But I've been doing it on treadmill, that may be a problem as well. But I just don't like... I don't like running on the sidewalk or out, like, outside because... I mean, I, I, I would love to run outside. I love running. But there's just no, like, not a good way to, for me to track it yet. Like, I don't have any type of device that I can just look down and see, well, I'm going this fucking, you know, I'm going... Seven miles an hour, ETA a mile is going to be about seven minutes and 45 seconds or something like that. You know, I can't, I can't fucking, I can't do that out. Just out in the open, that's, I, I like, like that's, that's what I like about running. I like being able to record it, I like seeing my stats the entire time. I know they make some badass watches, maybe I should get into it. So, um, I was about to quit this job, have a pretty... It's a pretty easy job right now. I'm painting garage floors. My current situation is I'm living with my grandmother. I'm 23 years old. I'm writing this book. I'm trying to put this word out there of like sobriety and inspiration and motivation. I'm only 23 right now, so bear with me. Times are fucking hard. I don't have no mentor or anything. Because like I said, I don't listen to music unless I'm training, which is only about two, nah, maybe like an hour a day, if that by myself and then um the entire other, like any other time i'm just pretty much listening to audiobooks and it's been 
improving my vocabulary pretty well. Um, I've also, so I was gonna quit this job anyways, because whatever, like the money wasn't that good, but it's like, it's very, it's pretty, it's a very organized job for me. I got my own company vehicle. I was gonna go to this other job where I'd have to drive all the way down to Naples, which would be like so much money and gas. Then I'd only be making 50 cent more an hour. The, yeah, the work was easier and they'd make me have my fingernails clean and shit. But, um, because before, before like, you know, all my life I'd just been into construction and just like working like a fucking dog. That's all I know how to do is work hard. And, um, yeah, I've been trying to get the fuck out of construction. <laughs> That's it, man. I'm just trying to find another better way. I'm trying to make some better fucking money. And I think this is the way. I think this is what my I think this is what my calling is. I think this is why I'm here. This is why I'm put on this fucking earth. Just to try to spread the word of sobriety. And you know, just it's not worth it, man. Alcohol ain't even worth it. Alcohol you still fucking yourself up too. I mean, there's so much people that die a year just because of the alcohol, man. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody could smoke weed and drive. That's not going to be safe either. But, I mean, smoking weed's not nowhere near as bad as anything else. And it actually helps with a lot of things, you know. Um, as long as if people don't abuse it and they only use it for, like, nighttime. Like, they go through and they go out there their, ent their entire day and they don't do nothing. Or, let's say it's on a weekend and they're not going anywhere and then they want to mellow out, just chill out and relax. Yeah, that's cool, man. You know, but, um, <clears throat> I'm not saying, like, eat, like, three or four packs of edibles and drive to a different state. It's not safe at all. Oh, you know, that would be bad. But, um, <laughs> yeah, man, weed's not bad at all. It helps cope. It helps me cope with a lot of things. You know, just like I said, you know, I just, just don't abuse it. I'm getting to the point where I just smoke at night or with, you know, just or on the weekends, you know. But, um, yeah. I'm only 23 right now, so maybe eventually I'll quit smoking in general. But as of now, writing this book, going back into the past, and then just get my ass kicked in the boxing gym by fucking kids that are way younger than me because I don't know my shit. You know, just even trying to train with a mouth guard is so hard. Like, it's like, I never use one of them elevation masks, but I imagine, like, if I did, it would be just as bad as training with the mouth guard in. Shit gets intense, bro. But yeah, I've been learning. I've been getting that down. Finally learned how to make a fist. If anybody don't know how to make a fist, that's how you make a fist. Always tuck that thumb in there. Don't put it in. That's how you break it. Alright. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> 23 years old and I never knew that I broke my hand. Because one time, the last time I relapsed, it was on an accident. And, um, well, actually, yeah, it was like, like the time right before I got, like, when I finally got clean. Um, I thought I, well, this was before I thought I could just like still drink and I was because I was like not doing dope whatever and I'm like oh I'll just come home I was working out of town and I come on come home on the weekends and I was just like you know my crap like, if I just drink I'll have a good old time and that'll be it there won't be no problems you know I can handle myself I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out and do anything stupid I'm not gonna go out and get no dope or anything like that so we're all drinking and everything and then my buddy that uh, I grew up with right here on the street. You know, me and him, we were just looking at each other and, I mean, you know, like, had that look and it's like, all right, yeah, like, you ready, you ready to go score some shit, man? So we ended up fucking doing it and then ended up fucking dying again. The bad time is on accident and I didn't mean to. The time before I tried to kill myself, but that was way before, but, um, yeah, man, I woke up and I just fucking hit the fridge. I don't know why I did that. I was mad. But after that, I realized, that's when I realized, you know, you can't even drink, bro. I look at myself and just in tears and I'm like, you can't even fucking drink. You know, I ended up putting myself out of work for a month. Fucked up my money. 
which money is no longer a problem once you get sober. I mean, you will find side hustles. You will find ways to make ends meet. Like, getting sober is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Absolutely. It's very selfish. If you're just like, if you're just like ruining yourself over some like problems that you've been through and that you're just not, you know, that you're just not coping with. There's other ways. You know, lifting weights, yoga, meditating, reading. I fucking hate reading. That's why I listen to those books all damn day. <sighs> so yeah, man. Just gonna be doing these vlogging videos. I got this, uh... For my next video, I'm gonna be doing my goals. I'm gonna have all my goals put down. I'm gonna have all my goals put down where y'all can see them. But I'm also gonna show you the um, the strategy that I use for my goals. It's pretty intense. The kid that taught me this strategy actually. He was just born into being a millionaire in some fucked up way. We just... Some way. I ended up hanging out with him and we were getting all fucked up. We were like rolling for like a week straight. I still my Christmas there and everything with him. Anyways, I guess it was looking back at it now. With this little bit of intelligence, it was probably worth it. Going back thinking like, Damn, you sacrificed, you know, having a good time with your family and all this other shit. But I'll die right there. And that shit taught me some lessons, bro. So, uh, yeah, I'll get more into that on the next video because I don't want to spoil it right now. And I don't want to, like, put the shit out there. But just know, I went and got the dry erase board and shit. I'm gonna fucking like I'm gonna do my shit and then I'm gonna just show you I'm gonna show y'all. So <laughs> Yeah man. And with the three gyms a day, it's not really it's not really working out. The only times I'd like it doesn't work out because when like I'd only hit one gym before my other gym before it opens, so, but that other gym is not opening until the same time that the other gym opens to kill time. Like, I would only hit, like, I only, like, I'd only hit Planet Fitness to kill time to then go to LA whenever it would open. It's like right there. But it's like they're being lazy as fuck and it's not 24 7 anymore. They don't know up to five. Anyways, that's a personal problem. You don't even care about that. But, um, yeah, the three days of gym thing just can't, it's not working. Working up. And then also, ideally, trying to go from lifting weights in the morning before work. That's not a problem. Waking up early and hitting weights, that's not, that's no problem at all. I've been doing it for like the past year and it's, it's what I'm continue. What I plan to continue to do. But the boxing, <sighs> six to eight at night. I don't get home till 8 o'clock at night. Usually I'm in bed by... I'm supposed to be in bed by 8 o'clock at night. I'm not sure if I like that shit at all. Maybe I'll just, like, quit it to go in, like, 6 to 7 hours. But I also just got into some GED classes as well. So we can, um... I'll be, like, showing you all my progress as that goes. I plan to get it this time. I'm going to take it very serious. And I plan to pass it. Because, um... I'm fucking tired of it. If I expect to be some type of, if I expect to be <clears throat> who I want to be, well, I think the God, like the God, like what God wants me to be, I need to put in, I need to put in a lot more work and just not more, and just not physically, you know, just like intellectually, I need to, I'm really going to get in it and uh, make something happen this year. I'm going to gain a lot of knowledge.
goes my video for January 19th. This Sunday. I said I was gonna make one video each week, so I'm sticking to it. I don't fuck around. When I say I'm gonna do shit either. Like, I take my shit serious, bro. If I do, if I do fuck up, I have to, if I do fuck up, I have to like put it out. Like I'd have to say, hey, you know, I'm not hitting gym, I'm not hitting three gyms today. Like every day, it's not working out for me. You know, don't think I'm that guy that's, you know, like sitting here bullshitting you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. <clears throat> Eventually, I got some AirPod Pros that are going to be coming in, and I'm going to be using those for the mic, because I don't know how this video thing is still working. I'm just using my phone, like I said. I'm living in a fucking pretty, uh, not in the best situation. That's why I'm trying, that's why I need to make something happen, you know? Failure's not really an option for me. I've been living in poverty like almost my entire fucking life. And now that I'm sober, I realize like I can do something about it. You know? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan's podcast We're going for like two hours His first couple ones were like three hours This shit's crazy <clears throat> Alright Alright See y'all next Sunday